Hey guys, this is Simmer from X Solutions Limited, and today we're going to be walking you guys through the update of the CR10S firmware. The first step we're going to take is head over to www.creality3d.cn. Head over to the download section, click firmware. This is going to present you with all the uh, different 3D printer Creality has to offer and their firmware. Both uncompiled and compiled versions of the firmware are available. So we're going to go ahead and select CR10S right here. And I just save it. Then we're going to head over to the uh, file, extract it. Once it's, uh, once it's extracted, we're just going to open it up. What we need is the CR10S 300 hex. This is for the CR10S, but if you choose a different printer, it will be uh, a different file name. So after that's done, we're going to head over to xloader.rusamoto.com. Right, this is the uh, software you're going to use to publish the uh, compiled hex file onto the CR10S board. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and download that. Open it up. Extract it. Okay, it's extracted. It's going to run the executable xloader.exe. Okay, there we go. Once that's done, we're just going to select CR10S 300 hex, but you can choose a different hex file for a different 3D printer. Suppose you have Ender 3, it could be whatever, Ender 3.hex, right? Open that. For the device, for the CR10S, we're going to select AT Mega 2560, so the last option. For the Ender 3, it's going to be uh, the Mega 80 Mega 1280. Okay, but this is for the CR10S, so we're going to leave it at Mega 80 Mega 2560. The COM port is going to be set to 15. If nothing shows up here, what you'd want to do is head over to uh, the Start button, right click, Device Manager, and if there's any unknown devices here, just right click them and update them. So in in our case, we have the uh, driver installed, but it's a good option to um, install the driver. You just select it and search automatically for updated driver software. I'm not going to go through this because I've already got the latest soft the driver. But back to Xloader, you would want to set the baud rate to this number right here, and then just hit upload. At this stage, you're going to see flashing lights on the CR10S board. Uh, the flashing will be stopped. Congratulations, you have updated the firmware of your CR10S board. If you have any questions regarding how to update your firmware on other machines, contact us at info at and we will do our best to help you. Have a good day.